In this video, I strip down and clean and paint the starter motor, restore the alternator, and paint all the other black components in the engine. But before all that painting, I flirt with the idea of porting the cylinder head. Cast iron takes forever to die grind, even with a carbide bit. So I've deburred these edges, and that is about it. I attempted to start there, look, and then quickly realised it was going to take forever for about one horsepower gain at 6,000 revs, <laughs> which will never happen. So I came to my senses and stopped. That is reasonably clean now and ready for um, taking to the machine shop. I've now got a stack of parts to clean up. So I will do some cleaning. Using a lot of petrol, I've cleaned up the flywheel housing and the flywheel. Next thing, the starter motor. In the usual fashion, I got stuck into it and I didn't do any videos. And so here we are, I've taken all these um, nuts off, which is where you connect the positive, uh, which means I can then pull this top off. Two of the brushes stay behind, but you can see there are two slots here and here where those two brushes go. And it can only go back one way because there's a slot in the um, housing here and a notch in the top there, look. So next is this whole thing comes off. And again, there's a notch you can see it at the bottom there, look. So that can only go back one way. Whoop. I don't think I'm going to take any of this apart. It all works very well. I'm just going to clean this up now and paint it. So I've cleaned up beautifully the um, starter gear. It looks very good as well. Very little wear on it. Just clean marks where it's been used. So commensurate with most of the rest of the vehicle. It hasn't done much work. Working beautifully and that's come up fairly nice too. So um, yeah, painting. Lots of painting which is a big obstacle. I can't be asked. <laughs> These little pile of bits here need washing uh, in petrol or something first. Uh, before they need wire wheeling and then all of that lot together needs wire wheeling uh, getting it ready for a coat of black paint mostly black uh, these few bits will be engine color what's it light blue teal duck egg blue there we go and i've just had a look and this is the last thing that needs painting this this and this and the bearings are okay but they're pretty dry so It'd be good to replace them, really. So I'm going to see if I can get this thing apart. So you've got to unsolder the um, commutator first and take that off. Then you can slide the bearing off. Otherwise, it was very straightforward, really. Some petrol and then wire wheeling. Uh, it took a long time. Many hours I spent on this through the day. But um, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. And I've done the thick of it now. It's just the engine and the head left to do. There it is. It's all done. I started this 12 hours ago at 9 o'clock this morning. It's just approaching 9 o'clock now. These two bits will be duck egg blue. And I'll probably paint them on the engine block so they can wait. But the rest of this shiny stuff, that's all going to be black. So I'm going to start getting that ready for paint now. Right, they're all ready now. They're all on bits of wood. I can move them to and fro and keep this area clean and dry. I can pick up the pieces without touching the painted item itself by grabbing the wood and I can paint over here where it's dirty and painty and I got these three bits as well uh, covered in parts so hopefully I can now uh, get on with it time to mix some paint that very high pitched buzzing sound coming on and off is the sound of the compressor going sped up many many times There we have it, a load of parts painted. They need a second coat obviously, a few of them need turning around. Right, although the block is back, I'm doing this first. Here we have a load of alternator bits, freshly painted these bits. Brand new bearings here, uh, that's also been painted and these have been cleaned up a little. And now I've got to figure out how it goes back together. Yeah. So here we go, time lapse time. First thing is to put the um, the bearing on the rotor, and then um, you've got to solder the then you've got to solder the commutator back on the end of the shaft. Unfortunately, I lost the shims that hold this bearing in place. So I spent the best part of an hour making these. They're old washers, and I expanded them out with the die grinder, took the burrs off, and now we have some shims. <laughs> so they can go in there. One, two, 
and the bearing and then a third one and there should just about be enough room for the expanding clip so then I can put the main components together and bolt them all up there we go, one finished alternator well there it all is folks painted restored is a strong word but painted <laughs> ready to go on That's all for this video folks, all those bits will be uh, put aside now with the new engine parts and the uh, block and head work needs to be done next, including uh, measuring things, checking uh, you know piston and gaps and plastic gauge checking, all that stuff in the next video. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series, thanks very much for watching this far, uh, see you again next week, hopefully. <laughs>